What's going on, guys? My name is Steve. Thank you for stopping by my channel. I'm just an American guy on a journey to discover my British and Irish ancestry. Today, we're going to be reacting to an American tries working in a British fish and chip shop. You know, anybody that knows me well knows that I love fried fish. But unfortunately, it's one of those things I haven't been able to get as often as I'd like. I don't think I've ever seen what we would consider a fish and chip shop or what we would probably call a fish and fry shop here in America. I'm sure they exist, but I've lived in multiple states and I've literally never seen one. Um, I heard about this probably about a month or so ago, and I was really surprised. There seems to be a lot of fish and chip shops in the UK. People are talking about they're basically in every city. That would be a dream come true for me. I wish that was the case here. Now, don't get me wrong. We obviously have seafood restaurants, but you know, I think what you call a fish and chip shop is probably different from what we call a seafood restaurant. I'm guessing a fish and chip shop is probably is probably just a little bit more basic in the fact it's probably just mainly fish and chips and maybe a few little sides, but that's what I'm guessing. I've never really looked at a fish and chip shop, so I don't really know what to expect here, but I thought this would be really interesting. I definitely want to go to a fish and chip shop when I come over to the UK. It's one of those things that's like, I've never been to anything like that, and I just love fish and chips. And I know that, you know, fish and chips is just such an iconic British dish that it's one of those things you've got to try if you go to the UK. So anyways, guys, I thought it'd be really interesting to see the perspective of actually an American guy working in a British fish and chip shop. Not only do I get to see that perspective, but I also get to kind of see what goes on behind the scenes in a British fish and chip shop and kind of maybe what you guys get served on the plate besides just the fish and chips. Because in America, generally speaking, if you were to go to a seafood restaurant and maybe get, say, fried flounder or something like that, you would probably get fried flounder and, uh, you know, probably some French fries. You would definitely get coleslaw, uh, hush puppies. I don't know if that's even a thing in, in the UK, but hush puppies are awesome. They're little pieces of fried cornmeal and uh, so delicious. But uh, anyways, guys, enough rambling. Let's go ahead and check out what a British fish and chip shop looks like. Time to get my fish out. Be very careful. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Mm, that looks so good. Oh, I ruined it. <laughs> Hey, I'm Jeff. I have lived in London for three years now, and embarrassingly, I've never tried fish and chips. Um, not really a fish fan, so trying it today should be pretty interesting. Not only am I gonna try fish and chips, I'm gonna learn how to make fish and chips. My, uh, my wife doesn't like fish at all. No, no seafood at all. Granted, I, I will say for me, I'm not a huge seafood fan, like shrimp and you know stuff like that, clams. I, I'm not a really big fan of that stuff, oysters. I love Fish though, I love fish. I love pretty much all white fish. I do like salmon as well. I'm not a big fan of like some of the bigger fish like tuna. I'll eat it if I had to, but definitely not a big fan of those. I'm I'm more like the flounder, the cod, trout. You know, I like both seafood fish and river fish. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's continue. And as someone that doesn't cook, what could possibly go wrong? Pop, what was it called? Pop Popeyes. Oh, Poppies? that's crazy memorabilia. Poppies. And this place is lined with all these, this cockney rhyming thing, which I or, still have no idea what it is. But someone's gonna get. I'm gonna look into that tonight, I guess. 17:30. That's that's older than the U.S. even. Dude, really? Wow, man. Places that opens at 17:30. I'm with Pops, the owner and boss man of Poppy's Fish and Chips. So Pops, why does Britain love fish and chips so much? What's the deal? In the war, it wasn't rationed, so people could eat freely if they had the money. Okay. And they did. Really, it's the first real takeaway there ever was. You know? mm. yeah, that's a good point. What exactly what is sense. fish and chips? Well, it's, it, it's fresh fish. Yep. You dip it in rice cone, then you take it to the uh, the batter, you dip the batter and you lay it into the, into the oil. You lay it in. What did he say? Rice cone? What was that word he used? You take it the rice cone? Hold on, let me see if I can hear this. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. What exactly, what is fish and chips? Well, it's, it, it's fresh fish. Yeah. You dip it in rice cone, and then you I, take it to the- I don't know uh, what he's saying the there. Batter, you dip rice the cone. You lay it into the, 
into the oil, you lay it in, not drop it in. And um, that way the, the, the batter stays crisp, you know, and, nice. uh, and um, chipped up potatoes. And that's what fish and chips is. It's simple really, but at the same time, you've got to have that love of doing it if yeah. you're going to do it right. And that's what Poppy's got above a lot of people. Don't get me wrong, there are other good fish and chip shops, but I don't think anyone can outstrip Poppy's, anyone. Uh, I've never had fish and chips before, so if hmm? I'm, I'm coming here for the first time, <laughs> what is the order I have to get? It would <laughs> I love, I love, I love Poppy Pop's lo look. When he said that, let me go back to that. Oh, that was funny. Huh? <laughs> oh man, I don't think I've ever had what you guys would call fish and chips. I've obviously had fish and what we would say French fries, but again, it's not from like a place that specializes in that. Um, I have gone to fish fries, obviously. Um, but again, it's not a place that specialized in that. They were held by like churches and things like that when I was growing up. Um, but I, this is something I look forward to so much, man. I, I look forward to going. Maybe I'll go to Poppy's uh, when I'm in the London area. Maybe that's a good place to go. I don't know. I don't think anyone can ask strip Poppy's. Anyway. Uh, I've never had fish and chips before. So if hmm? I'm, I'm coming here for the first time, what is the order I have to get? It would be had it and chips or cotton chips. Okay. Oh, I didn't know there was a different, I thought it, all fish and chips was just one fish, no? No, 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 oh, no. Wow. No, I no. have no idea. Oh, we do skate, we do- Oh, um, I'll see this, okay. Okay, you have, you have some meat pies here. And, and this is, this is not a meat pie, that's a sausage, chicken and chips. Okay, so it's not just fish and chips, it's more like a, so it's more like a quick takeout for mostly fish and chips. You had a little chicken, you had a little meat pies here. Uh, you got different sauce. Okay, this is more than I thought would be here, but grant, still, they they specialize in fish and chips. So that's what I would go for. I might would try some other things. Baked beans, Heinz beans right there. Uh, gherkin, pickled onion, gravy curry, garden peas. Huh. This looks good, man. I'm getting hungry. Man, I miss I miss having fish and chips, man. Well, I, I miss having fried fish. I haven't had it in so long. I wish I could find a good seafood place or something, but there are none around me. None. Zero. None. I would probably have to travel 100 miles just to get a good seafood restaurant. Um, I'm actually from much closer. My home state is on the East Coast, so I'm, you know, I was always within an hour and a half or maybe two hours from the beach, always uh, growing up. Um, but now I'm literally 15 hours from the beach probably. So, um, <laughs> yeah, probably roughly that. So you can imagine we don't get much seafood around here. Rock, rock fish, rock fish. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a lot of additives that go with, traditionally go with the uh, fish and chips, like the saveloys. Uh, what is that? Saveloy, it's um, like a boiled sausage. My personal is a sausage. Cotton chip with mm. a wally. What's a wally? Wally is a pickled cucumber. Okay. I mean, you're telling me a lot of these things, but I still don't fully understand all of it. So if you could show me the ropes, show me how to cook some of it, show me what the different fish are. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Come on. Look at all these french fries. Yeah, I can't be behind the counter without wearing a poppy's apron. This way, yeah? Yeah. Oh, I feel so official. He really doesn't know this American how to put it. I wasn't sure if it was supposed to go the other way. That's a doctor's coat, isn't it? First of all, all these French fries I'm surrounded by, they're not even fried. They are. You're going to get hit, man. <laughs> if you continue calling them French fries, man. Uh, <laughs> I, I would definitely use the word chips when I was over in the UK, man. Uh, <laughs> Kelly looks so good. I nah. love, I love fries. And by the way, they're chips, not fries. Chips. Yeah, okay. Better Don't, watch out, man. You, 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 you just loaded this up with a tomato sauce. Don't try and take away our chips. Um, I definitely want to try some, but I also want to learn how to, how to make it. Right. There's not many people that fry poppies, fish, and chips. So you should be highly honored. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I am. Award-winning fish and chips. Yeah. Award-winning deep fryer. Not yet. <laughs> Open the fridge. First, I'm gonna grab the fish. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, grab a piece of cone. One of these. Right. Going in the rice cone? In the rice cone. Rice right. cone. Then you're going to the batter. 
now. It's batter time. What is baby. rice cone? I've never oh, heard of it. That's, it. that's it. Now lay it into that batter. Batter time. Do not let go. Lay it. Do not let go. No, no pressure. No, no. Mike, sure. Is it the other side right. too? Turn it over, yeah. How do I get this part? Right. You dip your hand. Got it. Okay, now bring it up. Now I gotta bring it up and I have to lay it flat. Hang on. Let it dry in a bit. This gets heavy. Right now. In, in you go. Just lay it into okay, that. Lay it, lay it, lay it. And let go. That's it. Woohoo! How These, long do you let it fry for? These are the, this is about, about, about seven, eight minutes. Seven, eight minutes. Go on this side. This side. Yes. Turn. That's it. Up. Where do I put it? Yeah. Let's cover it. Let it dry here. The end cabinet. Here. Get yep. Woohoo! Thank you. Puppies. You're a fish fryer. Hi, welcome to Jeff's Fish and Chips. Who wants some? Uh, 5,000 pounds for this gold. Yeah. Oh, sure Chris right here. <laughs> Who wants it? All of them? Yeah, all of them. At the same time? No, no, no. Just one. Oh. Okay. What was that? Oh, okay. What is that? Take that. Is that yep. fish? What is that? Be very, very careful. Let it drain. Yep. Hey, cod bites. Order up. <laughs> Don't lift your things up like that, you'll burn yourself. So much harder than I thought it was going to be. Oh, there's oil all you over the floor. Quick, oh my goodness. There's so many rules. You've got to do it quick, but you've got to do it clean. Right. And I have no idea what I'm doing, so it's not quick or clean. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Should we give him a job, tone or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm doing great for the first time. You think he's got a future with us, yeah? Yeah. yeah? Before you know it, it's going to be Jeff's fish and chips. I'm going to check <laughs> I'm going to be your, I'm going to be your newest competition. Yeah. I, I've noticed the shop has got busy since you came. I know. Yeah. I draw a crowd. What can I say? <laughs> People want to try my fish and chips. Hear him? People want to come and have his fish and chips. Yeah. I'm glad I've waited this long to not to never have fish and chips, because now I feel like the one that I get to eat is the one that I made, which just makes it that much better. So yeah, I'm really excited. How's his fish doing? How's, in how's there, my man? fish? How's my fish? How's your fish? Okay. Time to get my fish out. Middle of it. Try not to break it because it doesn't look nice on the plate broken. Oh! oh I'm so sorry. I broke it. That's all right. That's all right. Don't oh. worry, man. That's a bit you're gonna eat. Oh, I ruined it. Can I have these? Please don't bother to apply for the job. You're out of here. I'm already fired. You've already killed your chances. That's your special piece of fish. Yeah. I won't give it to a customer because it's broken. I know. You're going to put your chips on the plate. And you're not going to fry it all over the shop. Come on, Jeff. Yeah. Fry time. Chip time. Yeah. How much? A bit more. More? A bit yeah. more. Yeah. My very own fish and chips. I made this. I broke it, but I made it. Working was really stressful. If you break it, if there's too much pressure, if you don't hold it at the right angle, if you grab a small bit, like there's there's like a science behind it, which I had no idea. I just thought it was a like deep fried fish. What, how could, what else could it be? Ooh, it's time to eat. Ooh, there it is. All right, so again, I've, I've genuinely never even had fish and chips before. Um, I've lived here for three years. I've never even tried it. Ow, oh, man. Um, but now I'm gonna try the one that I've made. How cool is that? We got a dash with the vinegar, yeah? Yeah. No! Of course. Okay. No! <laughs> I don't know if that's a regular thing. That is something I wouldn't do. Uh, I don't, I'm not a big fan of, I'm not a big vinegar fan. I do like it, like if you, some things, you know. I like a good pickle every once in a while, I, you know, things like that. But man, not on my fish, dude. No. I mean, it might be good. I don't know, but. Nah, man, I just regular have the fish itself. I don't need anything with it. Maybe give me a little side of ketchup. Um, you know, a lot of people in America eat their fish with tartar sauce. I, I don't. I don't really particularly like anything with it. I just like the fish and the and the chips, man. A little coleslaw, some husk puppies, which I don't. I didn't see those on the menu, so I'm guessing that might just be an American thing. But man, if you've never tried husk puppies, absolutely delicious. Especially if, if you get them from the right place. Um, like I said, I haven't been around a good seafood restaurant in a long time so it's been a long time since i had any of that but definitely good that looks good man though that that fish from what i can tell it's not getting a close-up yet but looks good it's really good i forgot okay now some salt lemon squeeze yeah yeah you can take a lemon squeeze. yeah i wouldn't mind that remember any complaints you cooked <laughs> i know i cooked it are you nervous are you nervous for me? No, no, I know you're gonna like it. Okay. Well, that's the attitude I like. <laughs> Trying my fish. My fish. I made this. I deep fried this. I broke it. 
It is, it's so good. The batter is like delicious and crunchy. It's so good. And it's even better knowing it's mine. Poppy's needs to like have a new Jeff menu item where it just breaks in half anyway. And you just charge triple the price. Oh, that was a really good bite. I mean, it's delicious. Do you like it? I do really like it. I'm actually really surprised by the taste. I thought it was gonna be like chewy, almost like a frozen fish finger type thing. But it's like, even as like a not fish fan, I can tell that this is fresh fish. Also, chips, delicious, so good. I think like the American in me loves the extra deep fried bits. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the addition of vinegar, the salt, um, I would try lemon a even. A little is, bit with vinegar, it's, but. It's really good, so I'm really impressed. I'm a changed person. I like fish and chips now. I never, ever, ever thought I'd see the day. It would be interesting to see America's version of this. I think it'd be a lot more deep fried, but um, yeah, I'll give you this one. How can you not? It's, it's deep fried and batter. Like even be Wait, he said he thought it'd be a lot more. How can you be more deep fried than <laughs> deep fried fish and deep fried french fries or chips in this case? Uh, like, I mean, like, I guess unless you took it out, battered it up again, and then deep fried it again. It's the only way it could be more deep fried. I mean, I don't know. Uh, although, although, yeah, that's true though. We do have husk puppies, like I mentioned, generally with fried fish, and that is also deep fried. So yeah, he might have a point there. You don't like the fish itself, but the fish itself actually is amazing. Yeah, he was okay. Um, Mind you, he's got a lot of professionals behind him, and he did manage to break the fish, but... Um, Am I hired? Do I have the job, Poppy? Yeah, but you'll have to go through my training program. Now, getting through that is different to giving you a job. I right? think I, I already went through your program. I clearly, I clearly smashed it. No, no, you didn't, mate. Yeah, I did. No. You're okay, you're okay, but you're not the, the, you're not the made deal. Yeah, not <laughs> but, Poppy's um, just yet. Yeah. You're not there yet. Right. But like no. Pop Jr. Yeah, okay. I didn't think he was going to say that. Pop Jr. <laughs> I actually really enjoyed the fish and chips a lot more than I expected. I was kind of nervous this morning, but obviously I was going to give it my all, and I, um, yeah, actually really liked it. I'm actually really impressed by fish and chips. I thought it was going to be kind of gross, but it was actually really good, so fair play, UK. I get it. Dude, how in the world did you think it was going to be gross, man? Fish and chips is awesome. It's so good. Granted, like, again, I keep on saying that, but I've, I've never had the fish and chips in the UK. Um, I have no idea what may be different about it. Obviously it's the same thing. You're frying fish, generally a white fish, like a cod or a halibut or something like that. Flounder is one I really enjoy. I don't know if you guys do flounder very much in the UK, but that's definitely a fish I really enjoy fried. Um, but I don't know what kind of oil is used either. That'd be interesting to know. I know a lot of people I think a lot of the oil in America for frying fish, you know, seafood restaurants is probably peanut oil or soybean oil, which obviously I would prefer different oils from those. Like, um, you know, those are just kind of not the best oils, <laughs> um, but this looks really good, guys. I, so has anybody in the comments or just watching this, have you ever been to Poppy's here that this place he went to? I think this was London is what I believe is what he said. Um well, he said he lived in London, so I'm pretty sure this is London. But um, I don't know. Where would you recommend I try fish and chips? Obviously, I'm not in the UK now. It's going to be a while before I get there, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, it's definitely one thing I want to plan. Where should I go get fish and chips when I come in the area? Obviously, I guess no one can really tell me because it depends on where exactly I'm going in the UK. Obviously, I will be stopping in London. So when I'm in London... Will this be a good place to get fish and chips? Looks like it. They're award-winning, supposedly. Uh, it'd be interesting to see Poppy. That'd be pretty fun. Uh, but anyways, guys, I thought this was fun. Uh, the fish and chips look excellent here. I don't know if there are differences. I mean, obviously, there's going to be little differences amongst the different fish and chip shops. But I'm wondering what other differences, you know, what things that I didn't see here may I see at other fish and chip shops is what I'm trying to say. Would there be, do you guys ever do coleslaw at your fish and chip shops? Do you guys have something called hush puppies or something similar to fried cornmeal? Um, little pieces of fried cornmeal. Um, you know, what other types of sides generally go with fish and chips? Does the batter look somewhat different in different fish and chips? I'm sure that's the case, 
But I'm just kind of curious how things may change from one fish, fish and chip shop to the next. Or are they, for the most part, generally speaking, you know, fairly similar? But anyways, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Please click that like button. Feel free to drop your comments or suggestions about this video or others. And don't forget to subscribe to continue to follow me on my journey to discover my British and Irish ancestry. Until next time, guys, peace.